Which food is good for your thyroid gland? First, certain nutrients are key to promoting thyroid health, especially at risk of iodine deficiency, which can disrupt normal thyroid function. Without adequate iodine intake, about 150 micrograms per day, the thyroid gland cannot produce enough hormones, which can lead to hypothyroidism. Here, we have provided a list of foods that heal thyroid dysfunction. Before we continue with the list, make sure to subscribe to Healthy Lab and turn on the notification bell to help us grow. Every subscriber is much appreciated. So, let's start. 10. Potatoes. Potatoes are controversial food because they are mislabeled as white foods. Potatoes are white on the inside, but they are not white food. Potatoes have golden skin, red skin, brown skin, and even purple skin. There are numerous types of healthy potatoes that can be included in our diet, especially if you want to fight the virus that causes thyroid problems. Contrary to popular belief, potatoes are often nutritious. Rather, they are full of it. They have very high levels of L-lysine and tyrosine. Humble potatoes are one of the ultimate Epstein-Barr virus killers, and despite being hit by many diet trends today, it's great to include them in your diet. These diets and the experts behind them do not understand thyroid disease and other chronic illnesses. By avoiding potatoes as it violates their own personal nutritional beliefs, they take advantage of the healing benefits of great foods you may need for no reason. 9. Radish. Radish is one of the vegetables that is often ignored due to bites. But if you're trying to heal your thyroid gland, it's great to include them. Radish is an antiviral food because of its high sulfur content and uniqueness. Sulfur contained in radish is different from other vegetables because it specifically kills pathogens throughout the body. It is one of the ultimate foods for Hashimoto's disease and all kinds of thyroid problems due to its unique ability to kill EBV. This is exactly what you want to do in the healing process. Sulfur compounds act like smoke screens, saturate the thyroid gland and eliminate pathogens. 8. Asparagus a study proved that asparagus supports the thyroid gland and is one of its most enthusiastic and strong supporters. Think of asparagus as a member of your friends or family who always have your back and are your constant support. Asparagus contains phytochemicals that repel intruders, whether chemical or viral. Asparagus also contains alkaloids, which act as a system-friendly aspirin to calm the body and reduce inflammation. Unlike over-the-counter aspirin, this quality asparagus does not thin the blood or cause catastrophic stomach upset. There are many ways to consume asparagus. You can make it raw into juice, add it raw to a salad, or steam it lightly. 7. Celery. Celery is one of the finest foods given to us to treat thyroid problems. Celery enhances hydrochloric acid in the intestinal tract, helps the liver produce bile and break down food, and stabilizes the adrenal glands. It provides a special undiscovered subgroup of mineral salts that attack the virus that causes Hashimoto's. Celery also contains powerful electrolytes for the nervous system and increases the hormone T3 in the thyroid gland. If you don't like celery, chop it into small pieces and add it to your salad. Add one or two sticks to the next smoothie. This is another important food for finding and including creative ways to incorporate into your diet. 6. Garlic. Garlic is an incredible thyroid healing food because it acts essentially like an antiviral bomb and works tremendously to eliminate EBV from the system. It also kills Streptococcus, a cofactor for EBV, as I mentioned above. Streptococcus is associated with urinary tract infection, sinus infections, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, acne, and many other symptoms. Garlic has a wonderful ability to penetrate deep into the throat to ward off bacteria in the lymphatic system and thyroid gland. Some people avoid garlic because they believe it is unhealthy or because they cannot handle the strength of the flavor. Garlic is not an unhealthy food. It's very good for you because of its antiviral compounds. 5. Cucumber. Cucumber is another important food because it strengthens the adrenal glands and kidneys while flushing the toxins produced by the virus from the bloodstream. Cucumbers also hydrate the lymphatic system. Our lymphatic system is found in different parts of our body, but some of the most important lymph nodes surround the thyroid gland of the neck. Because it is close to the thyroid gland, we want to protect this part of the lymphatic system. People who are sick and unable to exercise can greatly benefit from increasing their cucumber consumption. This healing food supports the lymphatic system instead of unprepared exercise. 4. Banana. Bananas may look like ordinary fruits, 
but they actually contain powerful properties that help heal thyroid diseases, illnesses, and symptoms. Bananas help restore neurotransmitters and help cure neurological problems among the symptoms associated with thyroid problems. Neurotoxins from viruses like EBV sneak into your body and cause symptoms such as brain fog, memory loss, insomnia, tremors, tingling and numbness, anxiety, and depression. This fruit is an anti-inflammatory, anti-EBV food that greatly helps cure and prevent thyroid diseases and symptoms. Bananas are also suitable for hypoglycemia because they balance blood sugar levels and protect the adrenal glands. In addition, they knock out streptococci from the intestinal tract. It is a bacterium that is unknown in medicine and research and causes small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Streptococcus is a cofactor for the Epstein-Barr virus. 3. Sea Vegetables Sea vegetables are another group of foods that tend to ruffle some feathers, usually due to their high iodine content. There is a widely believed belief that anyone suffering from thyroiditis should avoid sea vegetables and iodine altogether. It is based on the current trend centered on the idea that iodine causes inflammation of the thyroid gland. However, those who recommend staying away from foods such as dulse and seaweed are the same as those who do not know the cause of thyroid disease in the first place. Sea vegetables are not among the foods to avoid, and here's why. Kelp is one of the best seafood for thyroid health due to its incredibly high amount of iodine. Nori is another amazing seafood for thyroid health commonly used for rolling sushi. 2. Artichoke Look at the artichokes and imagine how powerful and protective this food is against the thyroid gland. Outside, you can see sharp, layered leaves with sharp tips. The leaves are thick and voluminous in the outer layer, thinning and becoming denser when they reach the center of the vegetable. At the center is the heart, which protects and supports the entire leaf system. Similarly, majestic artichokes can protect the thyroid gland and are one of the most powerful food for healing the thyroid gland. 1. Cruciferous family. The food placed first is actually a group of foods called brassica vegetables, which include kale, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage. Brassica vegetables, also known as brassica, may have been heard to be harmful to people with thyroid problems. This is an example of the prevalence of false information, which is widespread despite being incorrect. These foods are some of the most powerful remedies for people with thyroid conditions and symptoms. The false theory is that the goitrogen compounds in these foods are harmful to the thyroid gland. However, it is not possible to ingest enough brassica vegetables to endanger the thyroid gland. In fact, it's okay to eat a barrel full of cauliflower. The reason for this is due to what is currently undiscovered in these foods called anti-goitrogen compounds. The same vegetables that contain goitrogen compounds contain the same amount of compounds that negate the goitrogen compounds. Therefore, don't be afraid to eat these delicious medicated vegetables, whether raw or cooked. If you have a thyroid function test and discover a possible thyroid imbalance, you should share the test results with your doctor and learn the next steps recommended by your doctor. A great way to promote thyroid healing and health is to support your overall well-being through a healthy diet. By sticking to the basics of nutrition and following your doctor's specific instructions regarding your individual thyroid condition, you can be on your way to a symptom-free lifestyle. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.